hello my my beauty queens welcome back to my channel if you don't know who i am i'm my 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 red my real name is maisha so in today's video i just want to share with you my three last perfume purchases of 2022 now i know that's a broad statement but as you can see i have a lot of perfumes right here and then i did damage in the bath and body works sas sale and all the other sales they had so i feel like i'm good for right now but it's three perfumes I want to add to my collection before I went on a fragrance, no buy, and to the, to the end of 2022. Or maybe I'm, I'm trying to like use up a perfume before I buy a perfume. That's my plan. That's my plan. All right, anywho, so the last three perfumes that I purchased, because I will not be purchasing no more. Let's get into it. Okay, so it's two from Sephora and one from Macy's. <clears throat> So the two from Sephora is right here. My little cute little Sephora bags. So the first one I purchased was the Burberry Her Blossom. And I have the regular um, Burberry Her right here. But I want to try to blossom. I heard good things other than it doesn't last that long. But hey, whatever. I don't mind reapplying. And then this wasn't that expensive. So this is what the box look like right here. Burberry Her Blossom. Let me let me know what you guys think. And this um, was very inexpensive because this is a three point. What is this? This is a three point three fluid ounce right here, and it wasn't that expensive. So you guys, let me know what you think. Let me know if you tried it. And lately, I've been hearing this go really really well with the bubblegum pop because I used this one with the bubblegum pop and the ariana right there so yeah let me go let, um let your girl know what you think but yeah the burberry her blossom i wanted this before i started my no buy perfume collection all right let me put it in here before i drop something and then i start crying because y'all will see a grown woman cry <laughs> all right moving right along the next one and this is my first purchase of this i did purchase the little size right here and this is the killian i don't need a prince by my side to be a princess right here and i really did enjoy this so i end up purchasing so i end up purchasing a big bottle right here now i know this is the new bottle um i know the other bottle is kind of like a globe or whatever but this one is more practical for me because i don't really have all that room for a globe i just need to stand up <laughs> but anywho princess by killian it's an edp and that's what this looks like right here so uh, this lasts a long time well in my um mini or travel size it lasts a long time and that's what it looks like right here how cute is this i love that saying i don't need a prince by my side to be a princess this is very pure beautiful bottle and i think i like this one more than the globe like i said i didn't purchase that one but i watched reviews on it and i saw it and i'm happy that they changed it to this um particular design because i really like this i think it's very sleek and it um leaves more room on my perfume rack so yeah you guys let me know if the formula changed because i know sometimes when they uh change the packaging or they might change the point formula they may i have something they may take something away let your girl know but as far as i don't need a princess my travel size i really really love it and then like i said the princess by killian I really love this one as well. I love the design. So hopefully they're the same because I know sometimes people be like, the travel mini was strong and then I bought the full bottle and the full bottle sucked. So hopefully that's not in this case. Moving along. All right. So them are the two perfumes that I got from Sephora. And then my last perfume that I purchased. Now, like I said, I shopped the Bath and Body sale and I didn't know that I was going to love that bubblegum pop as much as I did at first, I'm like, who want to go around smelling like a bubblegum machine? But then when I started mixing it with all different perfumes and all other body sprays, it really, really grew on me. And it's really, really a beautiful fragrance, I feel like, of all ages. So, yeah, um, so, the, so now that I like that, <laughs> that I like that and I didn't know, I, um, the last perfume that I'm purchasing for 2022 is the Moschino Toy 2 Bubblegum. And that's what this looks like right here. How cute is this? So yeah, I um, bought this at, I bought this one at Macy's. And um, I did an online order and pick up in store. So I ordered online and then they text me to pick it up 
like in three or four days because I haven't seen this in store. So yeah, this is what it looks like right here. Very cute, very cute, very cute. Let me go, um, let me let your girl know. I can't even talk. Let your girl know if um you tried this before. How pretty is this? How pretty is this? How pretty is this? And this is wasn't that expensive either. Moschino toy to bubble gum. How cute is that? Super, super cute. Super, super cute. So yeah, let your girl know. And this wasn't that expensive either because this is 3.4 ounces and this was under $100. So that's pretty good because you know, normally fragrances that be like 1.7 ounces be like 200 and some dollars depending on what perfume you're purchasing. But yeah, this perfume is 3.4 ounces and it was under $100. Like I said, I got it from Macy's and I ordered online and picked up in store. So let um, let your girl know what you think about this. And I purchased this because like we do, I've been watching YouTube and I have the bubble gum pop and they were saying they, um, they mixed the bubble gum pop body spray with the um, Moschino bubble gum toy too and the Oriana. So yeah, let your girl know, let your girl know I've been on the Oriana kick. I've been using the hell out that perfume. I'm gonna move on to another one because that one costs a pretty penny. I don't plan on buying no perfumes. Well, I'm not buying no perfumes, 2002. Anywho, so yeah, this is what it looks like right here. So let your girl know, super cute, super playful, make you super happy. Let your girl know, let your girl know. And then once again, this is the box right here. And then also Macy's was kind enough. They gave me a, um, they gave me, I guess, a, a what is it called? <laughs> a, 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 not a sample, but they gave me, I guess I could say a free gift. So it came like this and it's like, it says created for Macy's fanny pack. And that's what this looks like right here. Very cute for summer. So when I'm working out or doing my little runs or what I'm doing or whatever I'm doing, I could be hands-free, put my phone in here, have my AirPod case in here and everything like that. So I'll let your girl know. So yeah, this was a free gift from Macy. Super, super cute. So it was between this one and a black one. And I chose, I have a whole lot of black. So I chose this one right here, which I think is super cute to just hold my stuff in when I'm on the go and don't want a purse. And you know, yeah, it need to be hands-free. So let your girl know. So super, super cute. That's what they sent me. 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 All right, my, my beauty queens, that's it. I just want to share with you my last three perfume purchases of 2022. I will not be purchasing any more perfumes in 2022. I'm going to use these that I have. And then I just want to add these three to my collection before I actually went on a no buy because I didn't want to break the no buy. So this, that's all. Let your girl know, let your girl know, let your girl know. Until next time, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share, tap that notification bell, check out my YouTube community tab and all my other social media sites. Stay safe, stay well, kisses, peace out.